I think that in an ideal world, we should have enough properly trained teachers, but unfortunately we don't. What is going on everybody? My name is Zach Rana and I'm a seventh grade science teacher in South Central Los Angeles. This is my story of how I joined Teach for America, how I became a teacher, and my honest experience with the program. This video is going to have four parts. The first part is going to be pre-institute, second part will be during institute, the third will be my time as an actual teacher with Teach for America supporting me, and fourth will be my time in alumni hood as somebody who has now completed the program. Before Institute, so this is when I first decided to join Teach for America. I was reached out to a recruiter by the name of Morgan Jones. So shout out to Morgan. She reached out to me in my senior year of college at UCI. I decided to do this program in the spring of that year. So before I graduated, I was completing all of the requirements that Teach for America said I need to do. I need to pass my CSET, my CBEST, basically prepare all of the necessary testing requirements and documents required by the state of California to become a teacher uh, because I was placed in the Los Angeles region. So that was my time before actually doing Institute before actually moving my life um, was just getting all those documents and through that process Teach for America was very helpful. To be honest with you, I don't think I would have been able to keep track of everything I needed to do without the way that they organized. They had a Google Classroom, they had people that would reach out to you. To be quite honest with you guys, I was pretty behind on all the things I needed to do because I was also writing my graduation thesis and doing like finishing up all my research and I had just taken the MCAT and I was just doing a million different things. So I was falling behind on all the paperwork I needed to do, but the Teach for America people were super helpful, kept me up to date, made sure I turned in everything by the state deadlines. They're a big part of why I'm a teacher today. So huge shout out to them. I think that that part of the program was really, really helpful. Now fast forward into the summer. I had just graduated college and literally the day after my graduation, I moved to Los Angeles and began my training for the Teach for America Institute. So TFA Institute is a five week process where you intensively learn how to teach and actually practice teaching. And so what we did was we were each placed in different schools. I was teaching sixth grade math at a middle school. And so in the mornings I would teach math at the middle school and in the evenings I would come back to CSULA, which was where we were being trained. And then I would take classes on how to be a teacher. So it was a crazy summer. That was honestly the craziest summer of my life. I had so little free time, but at the same time, it was so much fun because I was in it with literally hundreds of other people. We all were in it together. I formed some of the closest friendships I've ever had in my life at that time. Um, some of my best friends who might be watching this video right now, you know who you are. The one way to describe it is insane. Like I was waking up at like 5.30 every morning to get to a bus that left at six to go 45 minutes into the inner city to go teach at the school and then like grab lunch and then take the bus back and then have classes from like 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Now the third part was actually teaching. This was where I had my own classroom. I had 150 students of my own and I was in charge of their science education for the whole year. And honestly, that was a really terrifying concept to me. It was just crazy to be like, oh my gosh, I have so much responsibility on me. Like literally two months ago, I was just another college student and now I'm a whole teacher, like in charge of an entire classroom. And it was crazy. The first month was crazy. I just was like flying by the seat of my pants. Uh, but I grew a lot in the experience and learned. I just was learning at such an fast rate, like just was getting so much coaching from my school, um, from Teach for America, just had so much support. I also had a coach that was like my credentialing coach at LMU, which was where I was getting my credential. And I was getting a lot of feedback, but I was learning and improving so, so quickly. Like I could already feel the difference from like right when I started versus two months in, like I was a totally different person and a totally different teacher. And so for that, honestly, Again, Teach for America did really well. I think at that point, my one critique was that I wasn't fully ready to have my own classroom. But I guess that kind of is the idea of TFA is like, you kind of just jump in and you just kind of, you don't have to be ready. You just go and you just do it. And, you know, I think it makes me think about our system and how the fact that 
we just don't have enough teachers and we, we have to do programs like this to have enough teachers it says a lot about our programs and it says a lot about our system. I think that in an ideal world, we should have enough properly trained teachers, but unfortunately we don't. So luckily though, I learned fast, I improved a lot, and by my second year, my third year, I've just you know kept improving, kept getting better, started to really love the profession, love teaching. Now I'm an alumnus and I love being part of this alumni network. I've met so many cool people, I've networked with so many amazing people, heard their stories, their backgrounds, how they decided to do TFA, how they decided what to do after it, and it's been incredible. I think, like I said, I wish that something like Teach for America didn't have to exist, but it kind of does because our systems you know, we're broken. We don't have enough teachers to fill in spots, so they have to take college grads and throw them in the classroom. So that's just where it's at right now. But overall, I think the program with, you know, the limited time and everything that it had, I, th I think it did a really good job of finding the right people and preparing us in the right ways to take on a classroom. So my first year was definitely rough, um, definitely challenging to take on a whole classroom of my own, but I'm so grateful for the experience. I'm so grateful to have met all of my amazing students. And honestly, like they have risen to the challenge and um, surprised me in so many ways, just blown my expectations away. Um, I'm really lucky to have, you know, been in the place that I'm at and get to teach the students that I get to teach. So with that being said, if you're on the fence of like, do I do Teach for America? Do I not? Um, that might be why you chose to click on this video. I would say from my perspective, Teach for America is the best decision I've ever made in my life. And I'm, I don't say that lightly, like it really was absolutely life changing for me. And I'm so grateful that I did it. Are there flaws with the program? Absolutely, just like there are flaws with everything in life. But I think it's a program that's trying to address a need that it definitely exists. I've seen it with my own eyes. We need teachers so badly. Um, and this program does what it can to address that and find people that are qualified and capable of taking on this challenge because it is a huge challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash thumbs up button if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Post any comments that you want below. I will do my best to answer all of them and I will see you in the next video. Peace.